Running a business, whether it's online or not, means that there are staple tasks that should be completed regularly. This video will cover a few items that we recommend that you do or monitor to ensure you're keeping the finger on the pulse of your business. The first item is completing regular data backups via our export feature. Naturally, the reasoning or use cases behind a data backup depends on the data type itself. For instance, backing up your design theme customizations is a particularly important task if you're planning to dive into the HTML or CSS or plan to have someone to do it for you. Having a backup of your design files means that you can restore them if some sort of mishap occurs or you simply don't like the customizations that were made. Backing up your store's data is a simple process. Let's look at theme customizations. Go to your store's design section and select Download Theme. You'll be given the option to back up your customized files only or all files. If you haven't made customizations, you'll be downloading all design theme files. Now we've made customizations for this video, so we'll select Customize Files and Save. Now, if you want to test out a new design theme, you'll have a backup of your current theme customizations. This will enable you to revert back to your old theme without losing your customizations. No one likes losing their hard work. If you're interested in restoring any of your data, check out our support resources as we have details and step-by-step -step tutorials available. Now moving on to exporting your orders. Exporting orders ensures you not only have them for reference and record keeping, but you can do things like leverage the data to help you with your accounting. To export orders, go to Orders, Export. If you have a template preference, select it. Most commonly, clients use the default and choose to export to CSV. If you have a particularly large export, it's wise to select the Save Export to Server option in case it times out. This can help if you'd like to save and share your file remotely. Select Continue and save the file to whatever location on your computer or device that you would prefer. You're also able to export your products and product images. This could be helpful in making updates to your products or images in bulk, like pricing or inventory changes, but also is really great for record keeping. Go to Products, Export, and follow the same process you did to export orders. If you're looking to export your products, make updates, and re-import, we recommend the Bulk Edit template. Again, select your file format and save. These backups can come in handy in situations like you make an error when importing information or editing a product. Regular backups can save you a great deal of time and headaches. If you're interested in managing or updating your product images in bulk, rather than on a one-off basis, you'll want to leverage our WebDAV feature. It's not only fast, it's easy. In addition to orders and products, you can also backup or export your customer information. This, of course, excludes password information as that would violate PCI compliance. Now, you could do this if you wanted to push out an email blast or simply wanted to slice and dice your customer lists for marketing purposes. No matter the case, you'll follow the same simple process of exporting by going to Customers, Export. Again, select your template, Export, and Save. And remember, if you want to restore or re-import any of this data, Check out our support resources on support.bigcommerce.com. You'll find all the information you need. Another area of your BigCommerce control panel you'll want to check regularly will be the store log section. There are two tabs. One is system logs, which will house events that occur on your storefront. This includes order payment transactions, shipping quote requests, and newsletter signups. If any errors have occurred, this will be where you find them. Although there will be a brief description, you can also expand the issue or error to find out more details. If you uncover an issue, swing by our support resources by going to Help, Support, in your control panel. We have a great deal of troubleshooting information available. If you cannot find what you're looking for, you're likely experiencing a third-party error and will need to contact your provider directly for the fastest resolution. Now to the next tab for Staff Action Logs. This area will record general changes made to the control panel, like design template updates, product imports, page edits, and so on. You'll be able to track who made these changes. As an example, if an update is made to a product, an entry will be listed here, although what was specifically updated on the product listing will not be included. Another item to be aware of comes as you add staff members to your business. You'll want to also add them as users and set their permissions to your store. Under Settings, Account Settings, 
Users. You'll be able to create a user account by adding their email and status. Then, select the areas of your control panel you'll be needing for them to access. There are a lot of settings here, including single-click apps, API, and even web dev. This means you have full control, and also, when someone leaves your business, you'll want to change their status to inactive, which locks them out of the back end of your store entirely. You can also delete them as a user. Last but certainly not least, make sure to check on your analytics on a regular basis, whether that's your in-store analytics or Google Analytics. It might seem like a no-brainer, but it's not uncommon to get caught up in the day-to-day -day management of your business and forget to assess your performance. There's nothing more important than amplifying what you're doing well and identifying opportunities for improvement. There you have it. Add this list of tasks to your daily, weekly, or monthly list of to-dos and you'll be armed and ready for business.